Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and it is time to talk about some giveaways. So I have been teasing my uh, summer giveaways for quite a while now, talking about how they're going to be a lot more epic in relation to the winter giveaway I did, which was pretty epic in itself. Uh, basically that's the footage you're seeing in the background of this video. This is what happened last winter when I created my guild, which was exclusively made just for giveaways. And I'll be talking about some guild updates later, but the bottom line is that uh, the guild was pretty active back in winter because people were there for the giveaways and stuff and talking with me, we were whispering, chatting, and then uh, as I got more busy and wasn't able to log on, the guild kind of died so I'm hoping it'll get revived now and once again we'll be able to have some really awesome giveaways we do expect the guild to probably then once again die down after the summer is over and school year starts again but anyways uh, aside from the guild talking about the giveaways themselves if you are interested in some of the most epic giveaways you'll see in Swotar make sure you stay tuned to this video if you were there for last winter you'll get it you'll, you'll be able to you know get a sense of what I'm talking about but if you're new to the channel then definitely stay tuned if you want to participate in these giveaways it's the best opportunity for yourself to get something rare and expensive absolutely for free and I will tease the first giveaway at the end of this video it is going to be something absolutely insane so make sure make sure you stay tuned for that all right, so let's get into the giveaways. So basically what happened last winter in the system that I chose to do giveaways with was that um, I created a guild. I said, if you wanna join the giveaways, make sure you join the guild. So it was only on the Harbinger server. And so if you got some rare item, you either had to transfer that character to your home server, um, that only costs 90 cartel coins, so it's pretty cheap and cheaper than unlocking it in your collections, which is the other uh, option, which would cost you like 400 cartel coins if it's a rare item. And then uh, the second thing was that um, uh, what they would do is they would just log on at a certain time that I had set and I would plug in a whole bunch of rare items into the guild bank as you guys are seeing and then people would go and claim those items from the guild bank. So I would put everything in the guild bank first, I would make sure the guild bank is locked so that no one from the guild can access it and then I would you know, say in chat the unlock is happening in 5 seconds, then I will make it available to everyone in the guild and people can go crazy trying to get something rare from it. And since the guild bank only holds 80 items, I did this around two to three times at a time. So basically I would fill in 80 items, people would take it, then I would fill in 80 more items, people would take it, I would fill in 80 more items and people will take it. And as you guys can see from this video, the items went really, really quickly. The rare stuff was gone in like under a second, and then a lot of the other stuff went as well. And uh, this ensured that everyone who was online at that time got an item. So they got something rare. Usually it's sold for anywhere from one to two million credits. Some of the stuff was really, really expensive. I gave away a lot, a lot of cartel packs. This time around, I'm still going to give away cartel packs, but they're going to be a lot more mounts and stuff into the mix. And I'm also going to make sure it's all gold only. As you guys can see, I did end up putting some silver stuff in there just because my supply at that time was a little bit weaker than now. But I have spent the last like four or five months getting really good deals from the JTN and I haven't been selling those stuff. I've just been storing it in my cargo bays waiting for this giveaway. So it's going to be really, really epic. I mean, nothing is going to be under gold level. It's all going to be gold and platinum items. My giveaways would draw out anywhere from 200 to 300 people at a time. So doing the, give, doing the guild bank giveaway three times was 80 times three, which is 240 items. And so that would ensure that everyone who was online at that time got something. And people can't double take stuff because once you've taken an item, I can set it so that you're locked. So you can't take anything else from the guild bank uh, until a week is over. So the thing resets in a week. So basically, um, if I do a giveaway every week, I will ensure that everyone kind of has an equal fair chance of getting something and people can't just take it again. And I also didn't allow alts into the guild, so alts were kicked. So that ensured that people couldn't just log off, log back onto a different alt and take something as well. But uh, even if they tried to do that, once again, the giveaways were really, really quick. And that's what I liked about them. I could give away a very, very large volume of items in a very short amount of time. This giveaway was around 1 billion credits in total. So the value of the items was 1 billion credits in total. But as I'll tease at the end of this video, my very first giveaway, just my first giveaway itself, is valued at almost that 2 plus billion, uh, billion credits. So uh, it's a really, really expensive giveaway, and I'm really excited for that. And then... Um, uh, onto some guild updates, I guess, because that's kind of the medium by which these giveaways are going to occur. So I'm going to be doing the same system as last winter. So basically, uh, the guild, I'm once again going to organize it up and, and uh, make sure that the giveaways are uh, proper. And so basically, anyone who is inactive in the guild will be kicked. So in about three to four days, I will start kicking people who haven't been active for about a week. So make sure you just log. If you, want, if you already have a character in the guild and you want them to stay in the guild, make sure you just log on to that character, I don't know, run around the fleet or something for two seconds and you can log off again. And that will make it so that your character has shown they've logged on and I won't kick them. 
But if you um, aren't watching this video, I guess, that might mean you've uh, unsubscribed from the game or you're no longer subscribed to the channel or something. And so that character will be kicked to make room for another person. And if you are new to my channel, you want to join the guild, uh, once again, we are on the Harbinger server on the Imperial side. And an easy way to get invited to the guild is just in the Who tab, which you can access on the far right, uh, far upper left, sorry, of the screen. Um, then you can type in deceased into the Who chat. Make sure you're on an Imperial character. And then everyone who is online from my guild will uh, show up. And you can just whisper any of them. They all have the ability to invite you to the guild. And if you want to invite some someone, you just in the chat bar type a forward slash G invite and then space the character name okay so just do that and um, uh, that will get you invited to the guild and you can participate in the giveaways right now we're at 950 members which only leads 50 empty which only leaves 50 empty slots but once again I'll start kicking people in three to four days which will probably uh, increase the um, ability for some of you new guys to get into the guild as well and uh, once again, no alts are allowed, so please don't uh, keep inviting your alts because I can see by the legacy name and stuff, and so I will end up kicking alts. So I think that deals with the guild updates for now. I'll be online uh, a few times as well, so if, you, uh, if other people aren't online in the guild, I'll make sure I'm online so anyone can whisper me for an invite to the guild. Um, aside from that, let's get into the very first giveaway that I will be doing. And here I am on my Swotar TV character. This is my main character I use to interact with people from my channel. Uh, it's very, very noticeable with this cool knight with a white die and also that awesome looking uh, lightsaber pike. And I'll open up my inventory here to reveal the very, very first giveaway, which is, as you guys can see, absolutely overwhelming. Um, right up at here at the start, I have defined vented lightsabers, some awesome armor sets, mounts, tunings, companions, uh, everything of the sort. Uh, to start, we have five defined vented lightsabers because these were recently available on the cartel market. I bought up quite a few of them and I'll be giving away five right at the start. Uh, those are probably the most awesome items from this set. And then we have Senya's lightsaber. So we have three of those and uh, three lightsaber pikes which once again are also a very, very highly valued item. Um, that's what I'm using right now. And then we have the, what is this, the Unstable Peacemaker. Uh, so this one is very, very nice. And the Unstable Peacemaker right now is going for actually a lot. It's probably the most expensive. The lightsaber itself is going for like 200 million. Uh, the Scavenger Lugger Wall, so we've got three of those, more platinum items. And then we have some of the platinum dies. So we have the white and white die, which once again I'm wearing right now as well. We have the black and black die, which is the most popular, and then the black and white die. Uh, so Teal Sean's boots, you might not think these are the most uh, rare, but uh, for those of you who have been playing this game and are experienced, you would know that these things sell for like 30 million credits on the GTN. Uh, so, and they actually sell. Uh, so Teal Sean's tunic as well. We have the two lightning weapon tunings, uh, five riot control weapon tunings, two of the Rakua weapon tunings, and then a strap attachment weapon tuning. And tunings themselves often go for very, very expensive. The lightning weapon tunings are the, are the most expensive. Uh, we have some handler licenses here. Uh, we have one of these operator requisitions. In terms of cartel packs, 15 oppressor packs, uh, 25 scavenger packs, 40 grand chance cubes, and 15 disavowed packs. So we've gone, uh, gone in some older cartel packs there. We have some uh, ar gold armor sets. So a lot of these are straight up from the cartel market. Um, the only one not from the cartel market was the Mandalore the Preservers. I picked up a ton of those when they were cheap. Now they're pretty expensive, selling for around 10 million. But we have the Imperial Bastions armor set you see there, uh, the Stalwart Protector, the Sith Raider, a lot of these are valued at around 1200 cartel coins, so they're pretty expensive. Uh, that doesn't necessarily translate to how well they sell on the GTN, but once again, you can either sell them for a few million credits or use them. There are some really, really nice armor sets. Um, we also have the, oh, cool, I didn't know they were selling the Gamorrean Axe again. Um, probably for the Nightlife event that's coming up soon. We also have the Cathar War Staffs here. Uh, those are also from the cartel market. Um, I forget how much they sell for, let me just quickly check. It should be here in the equipment tab. Um, come on, where are you? There we go, 500 cartel coins. So that's valued at um, around that. Uh, the meditation chamber, this one was recently on the, not recently, quite a while ago on the cartel market. We have the expanded die modules, the fearsome rage regen, the protector command throne. Uh, one of the most newest and expensive mounts uh, right now. We have the uh, Abantha, we have a rancor. This one is my favorite Rancor, the Dathomir one. We have these a cool personal dropship, which also is a uh, cartel market item. That let's see here, it's uh, 50, oh the Dune Bantha is there as well for twenty four hundred, and the 
Uh, the cool personal dropship is, is here for 1500 um, The Churka Incendia, that one is also from the cartel market. Um, 1500 cartel coins as well. Uh, the Imperial, inter uh, the Unrelenting Interceptor, the Kukri Subjugator, um, the Junland Dubak and the Wetland Dubak, and then this Rendili Mount I saw on the cartel market, I'm, I'm sorry, on the GTN. I'm not sure where that's from, but uh, I picked it up because I thought it looked pretty cool. We have the Eradicator's Upper Body Armor and then two Chess Species Unlocks. So that's a total of, let's count here, um, how many items are these? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So a total of 80 items right now. And this is valued at around 2 billion credits. All right, guys, so this is a value of 2 billion credits. Here is your chance to come and get something really rare. Once again, this is just the beginning, okay? This is just the beginning. I have so much stuff stored up in my cargo bays, and it's all going to get given away in a very short and concentrated amount of time. So now is your chance to prepare. Make sure you're in the guild. Make sure you have access to the guild bank. Uh, you're probably going to want to get your character at a higher level because when I announce giveaways, what ends up happening is people will crowd onto the, um, onto the stronghold or the ship. And so it only has a maximum capacity, right? So if you're level one, you log on to like the whatever time I set the giveaway for and you can't access any of those things and you won't be able to access the guild bank. And unfortunately, you'll probably miss out. So you're probably going to want to level up your character a little bit. Make sure he at least at minimum has access to the fleet. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are excited about these giveaways. More information will be coming soon. I just kind of wanted to tease it because I'm really excited about this stuff. I've been literally stockpiling uh, items for a very long time and I'm really excited to finally get to give them away. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.